Well, in Colorado Springs, a teen is fighting for his life tonight after being shot. Police are investigating, but they aren't saying much about what happened. He was found at the Pine Creek Village Apartments off Chapman Drive. That's near Airport Road and South Academy Boulevard on the city's east side. The victim was found in the hallway of one of the buildings and rushed to the hospital. Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Allen is live near where that shooting happened. And Emily, you talked with some of the teen's friends tonight. Yeah, James and Heather, we spoke to the teen's friends here at this park, which is right next to the apartment complex. They tell us that the teen didn't live at the apartment complex, but his relatives do. And they say that this teen was not trying to kill himself and that this was an accident. However, tonight, police are saying that it does appear to be suspicious, and that is why they're investigating. Police tape leaves a scar on a sunny afternoon. I think it's really sad. I just... I hate to hear it. Police are trying to figure out why the teen was hit with a bullet. At this point, uh, we are investigating it as a suspicious circumstances. Uh, we are not looking at it as a self inflicted incident at this point. And neighbors are frustrated. They say violence in this neighborhood needs to stop. It's really bad. There are, it's not infrequent for the police to be here. It's not infrequent for there to be shootings, stabbings. It's not infrequent to have prostitution going on, sale of meth. A hand grenade, of at least one hand grenade has gone off since I've been here. Samantha Welchel says she keeps a watchful eye on her kids. Some of these kids around here, they don't talk right, they don't act right, and I was like, we're not doing this. That should not ever happen, not, I mean, not in this day and age. Anthony Hinks says the gun owner needs to be held accountable. It's kind of depressing that a 14 year old boy playing with a gun or whatnot, whatever happened, is just ridiculous that some people just can't, you know, handle their firearms properly. So, as police try to figure out what happened, a neighborhood is left wondering how to make this community safer. The teen's friends say that he was 14. We have not gotten that age confirmed yet with police. Now, as soon as we get any new information, we will update you. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13.